Hello guys, this is another KDF channel. Today I have a Prius C 2013. It has 166,000 miles. Look at this famous uh, hybrid Toyotas. And this one is showing check hybrid system. I already plugged the tech stream and it's telling me I got two bad blocks on the module number one so basically what happened is i already fixed this battery a couple months ago but it looks like the those two modules are giving problems so what i'll do is i'll show you the whole process how to remove the battery and and all the all the steps you have to follow so the first step would be Removing these plastic covers underneath the the back seat. So you got a couple clips right here that I already removed. You just have to pull it out. And there you go. You got the the whole thing out. Move it aside. So the next step was removing the back seat that I already did. Um, you have you have to hold it from here because you got those clips here and there holding the back seat. I'm sorry, this car is a mess, but I won't be cleaning it. It's not mine. So, this is the part that I give you a warning. If you don't know how to work with these batteries, if you don't have any knowledge, don't do this. You need a lot of knowledge. You need to be very careful. You need a special globes. You need a special equipment for um handling these batteries so i gotta tell you i'm not responsible if anything happens to you or anything happens to the car i'm just showing you how i do it and i hope it works for you so you know uh, what are the steps you have to take but if you need to hire somebody if you need to go to somebody you better do it because this is dangerous. So um, after that warning message, uh, what I'll do is I'll remove this piece from here. You got uh, one, two, three, four bolts, if I'm not mistaken. After you remove this bar from here, you got access to the battery, but I'll be showing you all the, all the pieces you have to remove in order to um, take the battery out. So my next step will be removing the ground for the battery. Very important. We don't want this on the on our way. And also we have to remove this guy from here. Okay, we got the service plug out. Now from now on I'll use my gloves to remove everything. So I'll be removing this plastic cover from here. Uh, I got the a couple bolts holding the the battery, but that's it. Then you have to remove this clip right there with the with the service plug. Uh, you have to remove this plug from the fan. Inside this casing, you have the positive and negative that goes into the to the front side of the car. And that's it. So I'll show you when I have the battery outside. Okay, I got the battery outside. I already checked with my multimeter, which I love, my Fluke 83. Um, I already checked, I don't have any voltage going around the casing or whatever, so it's safe to work on the battery. What I'll do is I'll remove all these 10 millimeters uh, lugs and bolts and I'll show you when the battery is open. Okay, I have the battery naked. I already removed this, uh, the, the cable from this side, from the other side. I have everything. I can make my, my test. And um, you don't test previous batteries just by measuring with the multimeter. But since I told you, and you can tell, I already fixed this battery. I did the whole process of um, recharging the modules um, and I'm checking for capacities. The, 
the text screen tells me these two modules are giving me problems but this one is 7.70 the next one is 7.75 the next one is uh 7.97 and the rest all of them are in the eight volts so this is not actually a very accurate way to tell that these two modules are bad but those are the only two that the text stream is telling me that are bad since these four modules were bad the first place that i fixed this battery what i'll do is i have four really good capacity modules that i'll be replacing in the front and then i hope i can forget about this um this battery problem so that's what i'll do i'll take everything apart i put these four modules in the front and then reassemble everything back in and then let's see how the battery behaves okay guys i already reconnected the battery to the car now i'm using text stream to clear all the codes and then start the car obviously we won't be able to tell that everything is perfect because um remember the car you have to turn on and off the car a couple times so it can store a code again so let's go to hybrid control let's see the the codes we have stored in the computer uh, maybe another uh, um, code is gonna be stored is because I forgot to plug the the service plug for the battery you can see over there uh, high voltage system interlock circuit that's because I forgot uh, um, to do that plug and uh, as you can see the P0880 it's it's erased I didn't erase that code uh, it did it by itself I don't know maybe because I removed the the battery terminal but let, let's clear all the codes before I start the car and then we'll check the, the voltages um, the on the data list the voltages that the battery is throwing so I just have the replace hybrid battery obviously because uh, certain situations got to happen with the car that it's not showing the code anymore and it's gonna be all clear no codes so let's start the car now we have the ready the ready is very important the car it's on now so the car is working we gotta wait for uh, the car to shut down but let's go here the data list that's gonna be the live data what's going on with the battery so we can check if we have any any weird voltage going on with the four modules I replace in the front uh, uh, side of the battery and you can tell look up block one and block two the four modules I change they are showing beautiful uh, voltage 17.28 you got the other ones obviously showing more because they were previously in the battery they've been charging and discharging uh, with with the car these two I had it um, in a box for a couple months and they still working great I'm just waiting for the car to shut down but as far as I'm concerned I like uh, uh, how everything is behaving right now I don't see anything weird what I'll do is tomorrow I'll check the car I'll drive it for a while but if you have this code oh look at this the car is off now if you have the p0880 uh, you know you have something wrong with the modules maybe um, in some cases you have to clean the battery but I don't know that's why you use the, the software to check what's going on guys thank you again for watching my videos please subscribe if you want to um, see more content like this please um, ask me anything you want in the comment section uh, I'll try to respond as soon as possible but thank you again and see you next video